Howdy folks, Kerbo here. We've got a new series on Space Engineers. I'm playing the new Wasteland update. We're headed down in a drop pod here to Pertam. And we're going to explore and try to survive down there. I've got a lot of mods going, including the uh, daily needs. So you'll see some extra icons around. We're going to have to have food and water. And when I recorded this, for some reason the game sound didn't record. But this is just the intro. And after I get down on the planet, we got sound. So I'm going to drift on down and I'll see you on the surface. So here we are on the surface, landed. Right in the middle of a great big desert. I went up and looked around, nothing but dunes for the most part. Started mining out a little place where we can get some resources. But we start with a little bit of stuff. Let's take a quick tour here. You know, we've got quite a few components, actually. To start building some basics. So, we have some stuff. But what I'm going to do... And here comes the storm. What I'm going to do to get started... <laughs> build a couple wind generators to keep the batteries topped off. And then I've got a medium storage container, cargo container, uh, and then I have an assembler and a basic refinery, small versions. Yeah, it looks like I better get underground. Yeah, this is not a very hospitable place. I have to mine out some stone, but I should have enough components in the ship to get that stuff made. And then I'm going to have to get mobile because we only have... A little bit of food. 30 cent food, a little less than 30 on the water, and some space meal bars. And that's it. And then we die. So we need to find ice. We do have some ice in the ship, but it's not going to last forever. So we need to get mobile to find resources, mainly ice and then some ores. All right. My suit said there's not enough O2 here flip the helmet up so when these storms come along it can get super hot and the oxygen can get all swept away the oxygen is fairly low here on per tram per tam I'm not sure if I'm saying that right but it's better if you can find like a canyon the oxygen stays low so while that storm's raging I'm gonna get some stone mined up and I'm going to get the stuff built that we have there, and then we'll see what we got to do next. Get started on some kind of mobile rover to go explore. So, I'll be back in a little bit. These electrical storms are no joke. Lightning likes to strike players. Think maybe it's passed? So I got the uh, stuff welded up. Got a bunch of stone processing. And it's time to start working on a rover. So I think what I'm going to do... Because I also have no survival kit right now. Now I do have supplies. Uh, I have three medical... What are they called? medical components so I can make a survival kit on a rover which is good I need some steel plates so I think I'm going to just come out here a ways and we'll start building a rover and then we'll detach it and drive off to victory maybe so, what do we need for a rover? Well, we need a cockpit. We need a assembler. I don't know if we're going to take all that stuff. Might put some basic stuff on there. The survival kit can craft some things, but to re if we have to repair a wheel, we need large tubes which require an assembler. 
So I might end up putting that an assembler on there. We'll see. I also need an H2 O2 generator. So we're gonna start with the cockpit, and I'm not the best at rover designs. Able to place cockpit. Okay. Doesn't like being set on the side. I'm a little bit rusty at space engineers. I built this little ramp here. So I could do this, get up here. Built that thing, and now we're gonna build this. Maybe I need like that. Is that going to let me connect? Yeah, there we go. Okay. I wanted it down a bit, but let's start with that. That has the two ports to line up with that. And then let's put the cargo container in the middle. Get it right eventually. I need an interior plate for that. Okay. I have some interior plates somewhere. Maybe I don't. Where are you? There you are. And it's went and lost its orientation. I wish it would remember. Alright, so cargo container kind of in the middle, and then survival kit like so on the back. It's forgot its orientation again. Yeah, like that. And then we've got two ports there. Which we could put some hydrogen engines on here to charge the batteries. Didn't get that on there, did I? Hydrogen engine. There we go. And that has a port there. Already forgotten. That has two ports on the back. Okay, so that's good enough for gases. about a tank? No small tank? Hydrogen... Small hydrogen tank. There we go. Wrong button. Like that, and then we'll put it together at the end. And I'll stick some hydrogen engines somewhere maybe on the side. But that's the start to it, so I'm going to get a rover built. I'll do some welding and stuff on here off camera. And we'll see how it turns out. So I would like to, at the, at the, uh, at the beginning, <laughs> I'd like to, at the end of the first episode, have the rover 
ready to go. So we need a lot more parts, you know, gyroscope, antenna, ore detector, all that kind of stuff. This is the basic shape. So I'm going to try to get this welded up with some wheels on it. And I'll be back. Been building on the rover, but uh, an unknown signal just came down there about 700 meters away. So I'm going to run over and get that. Hopefully. It's so close, we got to go for it. Sometimes there'll be some food or something in there that could be pretty useful. It's pretty neat. It actually came down close enough. I could see it coming down on the parachute. Don't think there's any hostiles around. Just in case. Should pull out the old pew pew gun. I don't think these are ever armed. A lot of sand. Almost like a dry lake bed. Might be some minerals over here. Holy cow, this 700 meters is further than I thought. That's plants. I thought I saw something moving over here. Just my paranoia. Yeah, definitely looks like a dry lake bed. I suppose there would be any ice over here. Alright, what you got for me here? Are you gonna be one of those, huh? Well, this should be fun. Can I get you to stop? I happened to hit the button. <laughs> oh, I hit it, it spiraled away. Oh, I didn't bring any sheet with me, that was dumb. this is supposed to happen yeah I didn't bring any iron sheets it's a cargo container Almost had it. There we go. I got the gyroscope off. No, no, no. Oh, it's got a sensor on it? Is that what? Oh, taking the gyroscope off would make it stop. Well, I'll just damage the stupid cargo pod. All right, well, this was a complete waste of time. Oh, it's got two gyroscopes. Well, we got a bunch of scrap. There was probably all kinds of good stuff in that cargo container, and I ruined it. Lesson learned. Bring iron... Or iron plates? Steel plates? Whatever they're called. Oh, it dumped the stuff on the ground. So we did get it. All right, cool. So even with the aw scrap mod, if you... Uh, 
grind down a cargo container. You can get the stuff. There we go. All right, back to building the rover. Well, the rover isn't quite complete, but it's getting there. I've got, I think, pretty much everything on there. It's not all welded up yet. Uh, and then we need to do lots of armor. For protection from the ground, stuff like that. I took a quick trip over to a fallen uh, unknown signal. Forgot to hit the record button. But I uh, got some interior plate and a couple little things. But on the way back, I discovered a shallow deposit. This is right at about 50 meters of dense iron. So I grabbed a little bit of that on the way back. Chucked that in there. So we got plenty of iron now. And then there's another ore deposit that's too deep to tell. I'm not sure what it is. Uh, once we get this ore detector built, I think I can adjust the range on this. And we can get back over there. But this thing is out of power. I basically coasted down the hill here and hit the parking brake. Completely out of power. Couldn't even steer. So we're going to wait for daylight and get this thing charged up. It may take quite a while. But I've got a bunch of these little batteries. Uh, I think I've got 12 and then 3 back here, so 15. I may add some more. They're 2 kilowatts apiece. Not huge. But I also plan, once I find the right uh, oasis or ice deposit, to get the hydrogen engine on online and get that to charging the batteries and solar will be hopefully kind of a, just a backup let's take a quick little tour there i got the uh, daily needs basics here if i can get the right thing selected <laughs> anyway we've got a small water recycling system and then this is the food protein resequencer kind of the main deal and then we have the emergency rations dispenser so those aren't built yet but that'll take care of our food and water while we're out exploring and we've got a gyroscope there and he's built. I've got a couple spotlights up front so we can see where we're going. Uh, I've got the ore detector there. And then on the side here, I've got an assembler and then two basic refineries. The second refinery is not built yet. But that's kind of the basics. I've got an antenna up top. I think that's all we need. I might think of something else that I forgot. But that's where we're at right now. This will be the end of episode one. You're loud, aren't you? It is chugging away on all the stuff we need. But here's that dense iron. It comes from a mod. Uh, better stone, I think. So it's just a little more dense ore. It is popping through that just as quick as it can go. And it's making me a bunch of components. It's another unknown signal, but... I don't have enough power. It'd be quite a hike to run three kilometers over there. So next episode, we're going to go exploring in the rover. And we've got to find ice. That's our lifeline. We can kind of make do, you know, with rock for the basic building needs. But we have to have ice to drink and to eat. So thanks for watching. And I will catch you in the next episode. Take care.